We're here with Cal Women's Rowing Head Coach Dave O'Neill. Coach, thanks for joining us. Sure, glad to be here. Talk about the season so far. How has training gone as you lead up to the season opener this weekend? Well, you know, with rowing, we're one of the sports where we have a whole lot of practice days. And our team, we've been training since August. And uh, the fall went well. And uh, February, Jan January, February, and March are always really heavy in terms of volume and, tra and, uh, and intensity. And the intensity has certainly been picking up. And, uh, you know, February was good. March started off a little bit rocky. And now, as we're heading into racing season, I can tell the kids are, uh, the student athletes are really starting to focus. And they're really excited to race. So I'm, uh, I'm cautiously optimistic in terms of where we are. And, uh, you know, but of course the coach, we're always trying to push, you know, harder and harder and harder. And there's some, certainly some days that I'm uh, grumpier than others. <laughs> but uh, I think, you know, one of the things with our team, we say the first step of being great is just not being bad. And right now I know that we're not going to be bad. So that's a good sign. That is, absolutely. And you named your captains for this year. Talk about who they are and a little bit about why you want them to lead this team. Yeah, sure. So our two captains, Christina Lofman and Elise Edom, both seniors. And uh, Christina from Oslo, Norway. And she's been at our varsity eight since her freshman year. And she's had a, a ton of experience. She stroked our varsity eight the last two years. Still uncertain whether she's going to stroke the varsity eight or not this year. Um, but she's cool wherever, wherever she sits. She uh, desperately, desperately wants to be successful this year and uh, leave her mark on, uh, you know, she's done almost everything that can be done at Cal. Uh, except when an NCAA championship, so she's been uh, really making some big sacrifices and really wants to make that happen. And Elise Edom learned to row here at Cal. Uh, she came to Cal as a swimmer in her freshman year, was on the swim team, did quite well, and decided uh, her future lay in rowing. And, um, you know, she stepped up in her first year, was in the second varsity and has been in the varsity eight ever since, and she's one of our strongest women on the team, and uh, rowing better and better and better, and she's going to be a huge part of uh, our success, and super, super good kid. Super hard worker, and this year being captain, she's really stepped up and become a, quite the quite the vocal leader, which has been great to see. Certainly from the coach's perspective, the you know we always need some good senior leadership, and Christina and Elise have been, especially the last few weeks, have been fantastic in that respect. And besides those two individuals, who do you expect to compete on the uh, Varsity 8 this you year? You know, this year in the Varsity 8, there's five kids from last year's Varsity 8 that, that are back on the team, uh, with Elise and Christina, and then Erica Rippey is back. Um, Papa Hipango and Rosie Papa, they're back. And also Caroline Rossetti, who has uh, experience from a couple of years ago in the varsity, she's back on the team. Uh, so all of them are going to be competing, and then other kids that have stepped up and done quite well. Michelle Leeson, sophomore, she's uh, one, one of our most improved rowers of the year, and you know, especially in the strokes, she looks to be someone that's making a, a really big difference. Uh, Aggie Nowinski, another sophomore who's stepped up in a very big way as well. Uh, she's a tough kid, real fighter, and uh, you know, she's going to make a big impact. Other person that's been uh, a pleasant surprise, Claire Premzik, uh, sophomore. She was six feet in our novice eight that won pac tens, and she's gotten a lot stronger and rowing really well and been in a lot of boats. And we noticed back in the fall that Claire is in a lot of boats that seem to be doing quite well. Uh, and can't forget our Cox and Rachel Erstead. She caught a uh, sophomore in Cox the Bar seat last year as a freshman, and, uh, and Rachel does a great job in the coxswain seat. So uh, there's a, quite a few contenders for that varsity eight, which is definitely pushing everybody, everybody forward. And you begin this weekend down at the San Diego Crew Classic. In years past, you brought just your varsity eight. Now you're bringing the full squad. Mm -hmm. uh, why is that, and what do you expect from this weekend? Well, we, for years, we took the whole squad. And then uh, for a number of reasons, we decided to take a break from the Crew Classic, and we didn't go for a few years. And last year... Uh, I thought it was a good opportunity to, to you know, head back down to the Crew Classic, and we started off with just the Varsity Eight, and that was a good experience. Uh, and then for a few reasons, one, it's such a great, wonderful event. You know, the racing and the you know six boats across, crews from around the country. The weather in San Diego is great. Uh, you know, the crowd on the beach. Uh, it's a really great spectacle, um, and it's you know that's one of the more fun regattas for all for the rowers and the parents and the friends and the fans of rowing. So that's it's a really good experience. And, uh, and our expectations for this for this weekend, I think, will do pretty well. One of the, since it's been a big month in terms of training, uh, we're going to be a little bit underpowered this weekend for a few reasons. Uh, there might be one or two kids that could, you know, possibly in a varsity eight who uh, might not be in there um, for a couple reasons, and also a couple kids that took a, an extended break in the fall. They're getting back up, back getting their fitness back. So uh, I think we'll be good this weekend. But uh, we definitely have our sights set on mid to late May. 
and you begin your 14th year here as, as the head coach <laughs> at Cal. When you started, when you came here 14 years ago, did you expect to achieve such great success? I mean, seven conference titles, two national championships. Yeah, uh, being here for 14 years is definitely, uh, time's gone by really quickly, and I'm certainly proud of the success we've had here at Cal. Um, when I first took the job, the job was described to me as a stepping stone position, and, uh, you know, and I don't think too many people might think it's a stepping stone position nowadays. And, uh, you know, and I'm glad to have been part of the success that we've had. And, but of course, you know, there's a whole lot of people that have, you know, contributed greatly to that. And, of course, the student-athletes, you know, all those, all those, you know, women who have, you know, pulled really hard and trained really hard and had great attitudes. So it's been, uh, for me, it's been a real pleasure to be a part of the, the success. And, uh, yeah, it's been 14 years and hopefully another 14 to go. We'll see. <laughs> we hope so. Um, as a... Uh, Cal is not only well regarded in the collegiate level, but in, from in, in the international level as well, with such a great Olympic tradition. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, quite a few women on our team have done quite well going on to the senior national team. We did a little bit of math the other day, and we realized over the last eight or nine years that there's been at least one woman from Cal that has medaled at the world championships. You know, and I think that included, I think it was the last nine years, and I think that included eight different women in a number of different boat classes. You know, and I think for that, the reason for that is uh, simply that I think we train really well. Uh, I think the rowing that we do, the technique is quite good. But I think one of the biggest things the kids learn on the team is to take responsibility for their own success. You know, and when you go on and you're done rowing in college and you go on trying to make the national team, you really have to be self-motivated. You know, and to be successful on our team, you have to be self-motivated. And then to move on to the next level, um, you really have to want it pretty bad. So I think, again, the training is good and the technique is good, but basically some of those life lessons that we teach here I think is the main reason why uh, we've done so well. And, you know, the athletes that are training this year, there's Kara Kohler, who's taken the year off from Cal, and I think she has a really good shot at making the U.S. women's team. Uh, Erica Faro, gold medalist from 2008, she's, doing, she's been a rock star with the U.S. team the last few years, and I think she's a pretty good bet to be racing in either the eight or the pair in London. Uh, Eva Obradovic, a recent grad who's training in Serbia, uh, she's still to be seen. She's uncertain whether she's going to be going for the single or the double. Uh, she raced in, the, in Beijing in the, in the single. And then uh, and Julie Nichols, um, who I've been working with in lightweight women's double, uh, 2000 graduate. And, uh, you know, and it's been great that she's been back here in California and training, you know, training right alongside our team. And, uh, and I think that, you know, she and her doubles partner, Kristen Hedstrom, have a really good shot of becoming the... Uh, representing the U.S. in the women's double. Well, great. Well, back to the collegiate level. We wish you the best of luck this weekend down in San Diego. Go Bears. Thanks. Go Bears. Thanks for watching. <laughs>